Based on census data, U.S. News calls Stockton the most diverse city in the U.S. story is like a lot of family stories here in Stockton. My father immigrated from Mexico to the United States at 16 to pursue the American opportunities. He always told us if we want whatever we wanted, whatever we needed, we would have to work hard for it. Also instilled in us pride for country. And the same year that he retired from work, he also received his United States citizenship. Growing up, didn't really have a lot. My real father, uh, Kevin Sr., wasn't really a part of my life in my early years as, as a child. We found out that Carmela was pregnant. She moved in with us, and from there, and it was a glorious feeling, a glorious feeling when we found out that she was pregnant with Kevin, and you know, we moved to Conway, and October the 28th, he was born at San Joaquin uh, General Hospital, and that's where it all started. A new census count called Point in Time says the amount of homeless people in Stockton has more than doubled, it's tripled compared to 2017. Homelessness has impacted my life personally. I'll never forget, I was a sophomore in high school and I just got done playing a basketball game at Lincoln. Man, my mother and I decided to swing by a pharmacy on our way home. And I was panhandling at Walgreens and I saw my son come out the door with his mom. As we're walking in, there's this gentleman that called me over. He said, hey young man, you have a dollar? Ask your mom for a dollar. Hey, can you please ask your mom to give me a dollar? And I had to tell him no. And as I looked at him, it was at that moment that I realized that it was my father that I hadn't seen in several years. And uh, Kevin just looked at me and he just started crying. And that from point, point forward, uh, all I did was turn around and walked away because right then and there I understood one, that I wasn't gonna get that dollar and I know what I wanted. So I turned around and walked away and I was looking for the next dollar at and stuff like that. That's how selfish and self-centered I was. But one thing I was very fortunate for was I was blessed to have a stepfather that walked into my life when I was five years old. I said, I, I proposed to your mom and I want to marry your mom. And I said, uh, I have a question for you. I said, uh, you can call me John or you can call me dad. And, and, and he looks at me for like five seconds. He goes, you are my dad. I'm going to call you dad. And he's been married to my mother for the past 35 years. He instilled a lot of of qualities uh, inside of me. One of the things I always taught him was uh, responsibility. Be responsible for your actions. and Whatever you do, know that, you know, it's always gonna be resolved. Uh, hard work and learning how to provide for your family and taking responsibility for your actions. and You gotta be structured. You gotta, you know, know what you're doing, when you're doing it, you gotta be on time with it. And from a young age, I was teaching him that at that point and he, he just, gravitated to it. All those good things that really, I feel really benefited me uh, early on uh, in life, but both of my parents uh, really taught me the value of hard work and treating people the way that you want to be treated and not being afraid and always being willing to lend a helping hand to somebody uh, because it's, it's always about what you could do for somebody else. This just in, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. When I joined the military myself, I knew what I was getting into. I knew the level of commitment that it was gonna take. I knew that it was a sacrifice. 
Uh, when I went in, the White House military office came on a recruiting trip to recruit some more military police officers to be attached to Marine One, the President's Helicopter Squadron. And so there's about a little over 100 of us who uh, all applied. We all had to apply. Um, and it was shortlisted to, to nine of us who actually ended up going. Well, I, I felt proud that Kevin can sit under the immediate leadership of our president. And when you join the military, your life is in service to this country. And so you have to follow orders, you have to follow direction, and you also have to lead others. And you have to lead with honor, you have to lead with integrity, and you have to lead with commitment. And those are the values that I learned while I was serving in, in the Marine Corps. Uh, those three core values of the Marine Corps is honor, courage, and commitment. And it's doing the right thing even when people aren't looking. And, and working hard and focusing on how to get the job done. In 2006, we started a family business and we were all in together. It was my parents, my wife and I were guarantors on, on that loan. And uh, in 2009, 2010, uh, really at the, at, at the heart of the Great Recession, uh, is when you know things just went a completely total different direction you know with the business and uh, my parents ended up losing everything uh, they lost their house uh, they lost the business and uh, I had to make one of the most difficult decisions that I've had to make in my life and that was uh, file bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. 